My boy Chris is here. What up, Chris? I found him. All right, we got all the turtles. Now we have to get this water out of the patio bowl on. Oh, golly. Right there. This is going to be their basking corner right here. Wow. How to make an intro 101. What is going on, friends? Welcome back to another video here. What I just built right here is incredible. So I'm gonna just roll the footage of me redoing the patio bowl that had the trickles in it. I wasn't gonna film this initially, but I think I'm just gonna film it anyway. This is the old coffee table fish tank. It used to be in the living room, but it was a pain when the lid was on it to keep fish alive in it. The turtles we have in here, two snapping turtles, two Malaysian box turtles, and an African side neck. By the way, you haven't even seen the African side neck. You're gonna see them in just a second. Keep escaping this patio bowl right here. They, they keep getting out of it. No matter what I do, the two snapping turtles find their way out. Thank God it's screened in, so I always find them like sitting on the screen right here or over there. This is normally not open, by the way. My boy Chris is here. What up, Chris? Smitty's fishing over there. He's uh, actually installing subs in the car right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go right in yonder. <laughs> anyway, this patio bowl right here is going to be pretty much makeshifted and into this. I scrubbed it, I cleaned it, put some fresh play sand in there. And then I thought to myself, why not make a video on this? I'm sure the Caferos just want to watch as many videos as I could possibly produce. So this month of December, it's like Vlogmas. I'm going to try to post almost every single day. All you got to do is hit the like button for me down below. Hit that like button down there. If we hit 20,000 likes on this video, I'm going to do my best to post as much as I can this month. Normally I post every other day, so maybe every other day, but then throw some extra ones in there. For the extra support, just hit that like button, show me that you want that, and uh, I'll do just this. Like random videos, literally. I wasn't gonna film this, I was just gonna do it and then show it in an upcoming video, but why not film it? So let's get to it. I need to take all the rocks out of this right here. Little Malaysian right here, they're tiny. I think I'm gonna get a bucket. Let me get a bucket to put all the turtles in. Here we go, let's get a little water in this, keep them moist, you know? Here's our African side neck right here. They're called side necks because their neck doesn't go straight in. It goes in to the side. You see that? We just got him recently from a friend of mine. Got too big for his aquarium. He's trying to escape me. There's that. Big Malaysian box turtle. Let's keep taking rocks out. We're gonna keep finding turtles. Oh, there's gotta be one under here. Baby Malaysian box turtle. It's a little tiny baby. Come paddle, 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 paddle. <laughs> These things are absolutely adorable. Put that one in there. Feel his shell, just don't know where his face is. It's on the other side. Oh my goodness. That is why they're so dangerous, but there's one of them. Look at that bite. Is that incredible? Is that crazy looking or what? So dope. Put him in there. Look how mean he looks. Okay, there's another one in here and this one is sketchy. The craziest part is these snapping turtles will bury themselves like three, four. In this case, they only can go about three inches under sand, but they will dig themselves as far as you could possibly think to where they're nearly invisible. So I'm removing everything as I'm trying to find this turtle. Oh, I thought, I thought that was him right there. Ow! That's a heater. Phone just fell. I'm filming, I'm filming on my phone. There's a couple of mollies and platies in this thing as well, but it's, it's dirty right now. So once I get it out, I'm gonna drain the water slowly, net those out, and they'll go into the new pond over here as well. I just gotta find this snapping turtle. I don't know where it is. I'm searching. I found him. Found him, finally, literally. Okay, let's put you in there. All right, we got all the turtles. Now we have to get this water out of the patio bowl and get the few minnows and platies and mollies that are in there, get them into their own bucket. We need this patio bowl completely empty. Big old minnows, more mollies, wow. There. This is gonna be their basking corner right here. As you can see, the sun's coming through right there. Nice little cave right there, they can go in there. Now I'm just pretty much stacking up a bunch of rocks. This right here is a perfect rock to go at the water line, as you can see. See how that, it's easy for them to climb up. So that'll go like for an entry point up to the big rock. All right, so check it out. This came out crazy, so much better than the other one. We got sand, brand new sand, play sand in there. Up close to you, come here James, look at this. We got a color changing light right there. It's gonna come out this way, change the color of the water. Super, super cool. Heater right there, right? Everything's tucked up nice and neat in this corner. Filter right here is gonna push water this way, which will continually circulate the water. And under here, in there, is an aerator that's gonna come out through all the rocks. So 
So they got an aerator, a filter, a heater, a color changing light to make this look good for a pleasing standpoint for walking by it at my front door. Let me give you one more close up on everything. So as you can see, color changing light right there, heater, filter, all the wires ran into that little thing right there and ran behind it. And then the aerator, you can see the line go through. Real nice and neat this time coming out of here. Two plugs, two outlets. Perfect. Let's fill this thing up with water so we can get all these suckers in. <coughs> right back, I'm gonna turn it on. The well, the well. Off, on. Oh, golly! All right, it's gonna fill up quick, but uh, there it is. Boom, just like that. Okay, now just look at the difference already. Because it has clear sides and not dark, you could see into it so much more. We could find these turtles. We could film them a lot more because before it's kind of dark, it's hard to, I'd have to find them to film them. Now we could just film them in their natural habitat. Walking around their enclosure, water. <laughs> All right, that's it, got the filter going. Check this out, I, I got it going. Yeah, it wasn't plugged in, that's, that's why it wasn't working. You have to actually plug stuff in in order for, okay, you get the point. Here is our African side neck. Go in, he's peeing on me as we speak. Look at that little basking area, bro. Perfect. Look at him. Yeah, a spot where they could still be oh, in the water. Down. There he goes. Malaysian box turtle. See you, buddy. Bloop. Go. Look at him. So dope, bro. It's so sick. So I'm loving it, dude. It's so nice. Baby Malaysian box turtle. Look at the colors on the bottom of that shell right there. So pretty. Ready? Oh, I love <laughs> how you just run there and they take off. And then they go, they all go in the same direction. All right. Perfect. Beast mode. Beast mode. <laughs> Look at it, really? And... He's like, oh, that sounds actually nice. They're a, they're a lot slower moving. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can actually see the snapping turtles walking along the bottom there. That's so sick. One more. Perfect. I'm so stoked for this thing. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he just faced over to the sand. Got turtles literally everywhere. Look at them all. There's two Malaysians back there. They don't know their surroundings yet, so that's why they're like tweaking out and going all over the place. Once they get comfortable, the snapping turtle will start burying themselves. The Malaysians will be out on the bank a lot on like, those rocks right there. They love being on the land. Anyway, there it is. Boom. Who's up on the bank, just like I mentioned, the Malaysian. There he is blowing bubbles. There's one snapping turtle back there, and you see how easy it is to find everything now. Baby Malaysian is right there, other snapping turtles right there, and then our African side neck is right there. Just like that, within seconds, I found all the turtles. In, in literally seconds. Beforehand, it was so dark, I couldn't find any. But now, with that filter going just overnight, look how clear the water is. We can now see inside this. Uh, what, what do you? What, what, should, what should we call this? Bowl? Uh, table? Uh, tank? Aquarium thing? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think we should call this right here. Look how fine that sand is now too, so they can easily dig. As I say it, look what he's doing. He's digging. But yeah, this is uh, absolutely incredible. So awesome. Way better. Let me show you what I did to the pond. Also, check this out. Re-rocked this whole entire area right here. And did all the mulch all over again. Looks incredible, huh? So much better. I love yard work. Yard work is like a huge part of, there's a bumblebee on my phone. Landed right on the top of the lens. I'm a huge like fiend for yard work. I love being outside, doing work around my house, doing things like this, putting all this together. It's windy out, I apologize. I'm, oh my goodness. I have not been filming on my camera because I don't have a camera battery charger. It should arrive tomorrow, so we'll be back on the camera instead of the phone. The phone is still good though. iPhone 11 is uh, pristine. Come on, go in. Go, go. Go, go. I left it open. See them listen to me though? I just fed them right, you see them all eating? I just fed them right before I started filming. So that side of the house is officially done. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, to this side of the yard. Well, that's just, we're gonna do stuff out here in the future. So the donut marks is nothing. I'm talking about this kind of stuff, yard work. This side is my next project. Always got things going on around here. If y'all watching have not done so already, be sure to look down there below, hit the subscribe button for me. 
hit that subscribe button. After you do so, click the bell. Click the bell so you're notified every time I do upload, which is every other day. Like I said earlier in this video, if you want to see me post almost every day, hit that like button for me. Show me you want it. Jerry, Jerry, you're still in here, buddy? These turtles have a happy, clean, nice and warm home. Look how dope that turtle is right there. Love it, love to see it. Let's see the little African side neck real quick. Oh yeah. Check out the colors on that shell. So awesome. I wanna ask y'all a question though. Out of all the turtles in this pond right here, which one is your favorite? I will let you know my favorite. I love the Malaysians because they obviously bred in my parents' backyard, but I will tell you, the snapping turtle, the two snapping turtles, here's, uh, I don't wanna bother that one, he's all dug up. Oh my! He was a millimeter from my hand. Anyway, those are my favorite. Even though I almost got bit by one, the snapping turtle are my favorite. Let me know in the comments down below, right down there, what your favorite turtle in here is. Yeah. Look at the pool pond right now. All clean. Clean. <laughs> when the captain shoot is my favorite. Look at that. Oh. Oscar's eating catfish. There's the Oscar over there, Tiger Oscars. Look at this little guy. Oh. <laughs> anyway, y'all, that is all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. PaulCaferralBrand.com for any merchandise. Signature on the sleeve hoodie right here, 10% off. Right, oh, I, maybe it looks better like this. Yeah, it definitely does. 10% off, go down below. Top link, check out the fit real quick, all white. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, that's it. I can't wait to start filming on you again. Uh, one more video. One more video on the iPhone. Going back to you. Wow. I need to dust really bad. 10% off, huh? <laughs> for real though, top link in the description. Go check it out. Today's part of the comment shout out goes out to Owen. Thank you for teaching me how to make a trap. Love your videos. Please want a positive comment shout out. Keep making amazing content. And actually, and I read that right off my computer because I've got it up. See? Right there. If you want to win a positive comment shout out and be in one of his upcoming videos with your comment on the screen, Drop a positive comment down in the comments down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Once again, 10% off, Paul Cafaro brand. Go check it out, 10%. 10%, what are you, are you crazy? Go. I didn't even mention the code name yet, but code holidays. Code holidays for 10% off. That's all I got for you, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video. There's a bumblebee on my phone. On my. Hello there.